What's up YouTube? I'm going right now to the shop to take a look at a part for my car. I have an engine light on and it looks like it's an O2 sensor. So I'm gonna go possibly try to figure what out, figure out what part that is and then order it so I can get this fixed up, get the engine light off and make sure this car isn't throwing lights at me. I can actually take a video of that of me fixing it, me installing the new O2 sensor, and give you guys an idea of what that looks like on my car. And that'll give me another video and give you guys something to watch if you're in the cars. And right now, if you notice the difference in the setup, I actually have a GoPro. Right now, a GoPro Hero 5, black. So I'm getting some pretty good quality footage right now. And I don't have to use my phone all the time. But I'm still gonna use my phone because right now I don't have a computer to use my uh, GoPro editor on to fix the fisheye. So what I'm going to be doing is using my phone to get like a uh, more time lapse or like panning kind of footage. And then with my GoPro, I'm just going to have like that as an action cam or something that I'm going to have in my car like this. So hopefully the new setup will you know give a dynamic for the videos and help out with you know how the videos look and how the quality is. So I'm pulling up right now. I can make it. I can make it. Nah. Dang. Such a difficulty just to park. Parking lot is so odd. Here we go. I have a number. Two numbers, model numbers for the O2 sensor. And so I'm going to go to their AutoZone or Napa and figure this whole thing out. And even though my car is not that fast, that's still kind of fun. Just got here and I'm gonna go inside and figure out the price on this O2 sensor and hopefully be able to get it installed very, very soon. So I took a look inside and gave them the names of the O2 sensors and it turns out that the O2 sensors for my car are very very specific because they only fit two Toyotas and of course mine's one of them and so the O2 sensors at the store would have costed me around two hundred and thirty dollars but he told me to go on Amazon and get them for a hundred dollars which I still find ridiculous for something so small. But, you know, I'm figuring it out. Hopefully I can get that paid for and get it into my car because honestly, this engine light just bothering me. It's not that big of a deal. The car doesn't perform any differently, but it's just really, really bothering me right now. And I want to get it fixed so that I don't have to look at the engine light all the time. What's up? I just got done eating lunch my house I'm going now to head out I'm going to the gas station getting a drink then I'm going out to the track and this is definitely not a normal workout basically I'm committing suicide or my legs are committing suicide it's not gonna be good look at all these options monster it is monster time of course by the way the reason why I get monster all the time is because it actually is like one of the only drinks that will actually get me pumped up for workout. All right, I just pulled up into the track. Um, I'm gonna get out and let you guys know what's going on. Please, I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna lunge all the way around for a quarter mile. And I'm gonna do that four times. So I'm gonna do a mile just to lunge in. Stop, I'll stop, but basically I'm gonna try to do it until I can complete the whole thing. I'm gonna set up the camera so I can get some angles of what's going on and I'm gonna get to it.
completed. My legs are already feeling it. Probably just because I'm not used to training legs, but what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a break every time I stop. I'll just stop and I can't move. I just have to keep going until I can get more lunges in. But right now, it's really hot out here and it's already killing me. I'm barely even. Lap in and just see what I can do because this is ridiculous. Not even halfway done. Maybe if I see those shrooms over there, then maybe I can imagine that I finish this, then I'll be good. All right, currently halfway done with the first lap. Almost a quarter more. I have to get right over there where my finger is. So close to done. Oh my God, I'm literally sweating so bad that it feels like I'm oiled up. It's kind of gross. Just right there. So, so close. I got like an eighth left once I hit right there. So close. Right there. And I'll be done. It's really frustrating because I have to stand in the place I stop. That's part of the challenge. I just can't move. Because if I move, then I'm just skipping reps. So, technically, the whole time around, I didn't take a single step walking unless I went into the grass, like up to the side to cool down or something. The track's so hot. Finally done. I really thought I was gonna come out here and do a full mile. I mean, it's pretty humbling to see how weak my legs are actually. That just shows you how much I need to train it or train them. Man, that was, that was so painful. I gotta get to my car before I pass out, I swear. quadriplegic is that the right word but it's the reason why I didn't show much FaceTime after that is because it looked like a, like a puppy that just saw its mom die anyway um I I hope you like the Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, stay tuned for another episode of stupid, painful challenges. Like and subscribe and all that stuff.